Welcome to another cool Photoshop video tutorial. Today we're going to look at a very quick and dirty way of enhancing a digital camera photograph. Okay, we'll start with our photograph. Now this is a typical digital camera shot of what could be a pretty spectacular scene. Okay, a sunset. The camera wasn't a particularly great camera, but we've got a pretty good sky. Um, if we have a look Zoom in a bit closer, we'll see that there's a bit of noise in here. Um, unfortunately the shot was in a low light condition, which tends to happen at sunsets. Um, and as I say, the camera was only a 3 megapixel model, but um, this photo can be rescued. Okay. What we're going to do is not what your normal photographer will do and play around with levels and um, curves and histograms and, and start playing with color correction and all sorts of things. No, 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 no. What we're going to do is we're just going to use simple layers, okay? So first of all we'll make two copies of that original layer. So we've now got three layers. We'll then use some blending modes. We'll turn the top one into overlay and the next one down we'll turn into screen. Okay, now don't worry about what it looks like right now because we'll play with the uh, layer, the levels of these layers. Okay, I've turned the screen layer right down. Now I'll bring my overlay layer down until it's sort of about how I want it. Okay, while it's right up the top like that, you'll see that we've got a lot of contrast, we've got a lot of colours, we've brought out the yellows and the oranges in the sky, but it's also a bit dark in places. That's why we've got the screen layer. So all we do now is we play with the, with the um, visibility of each of these layers, bring the screen on, see, to sort of lighten up those darker areas there. Um, just get it to, yeah, that's probably about right there. Okay, um, I'm, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Turn these two layers off, there's the original, turn them back on, and that's what we're up with. Okay, we've actually enhance the photograph considerably just using layers and blending modes. The next thing we do of course is we flatten the layers and we're back to our original picture. Um, any normal sort of a photograph we would, um, the next thing we would do is um, sharpen it. Okay, That's what they'll always tell you, you've got to sharpen it. But if we zoom in and have a little, have a bit closer come in and have a look and see what we've got in here, we'll see we've got a bit of noise, okay? And if we use an unsharp mask on that noise, which we'll show you, it just brings the noise out. Uh, that's not really what we want to do, okay? So we'll cancel that and instead we'll just have a look around see the noise is everywhere, okay? That comes from it being a low light photograph with an, only an average sort of a camera. So instead we'll go in and we'll go into the noise thing, but we'll come down to median. And look what that does. Just with a radius of one pixel, it's gotten rid of gotten rid of all the noise, and we have a great photograph. Look, no noise, lots of colours, all the contrast we want. I think that's a pretty good job. If you want to see more tutorials on graphics programs, visit electricartist.com. If you want to learn more about computer graphics and graphic design, visit learncomputergraphics.com. 